Here we see how we think about ourselves and God and the world determines how we live. And so Nebuchadnezzar says, if I can get them to think Babylonian, then I will get them to live Babylonian. The Lord is saying to us, if we see ourselves, our identity is in Christ. We belong to Christ. We are owned by Christ. We're employed in the service of Christ. We're citizens of Christ's kingdom. If we see ourselves as the Lord's, even when we're living in Babylon, even when we're living and walking and breathing and working and learning in the midst of this world, if we have that identity, even in the midst of those circumstances, we will, by God's grace, live accordingly. That's why we read Romans chapter 12. It's dealing with the the reality of Christians in exile, in spiritual exile. And it says, it doesn't say run to your ghetto somewhere where there's no no one from the world, but it says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The people of God do not slip into the world's way of thinking. Career hopes, for example. We don't don't have career hopes that are based on adopting the world's methods of getting ahead. The hope of a better position in our career cannot be had at the expense of breaking the Sabbath. A good job cannot be had at the expense of shoddy work, laziness. A good, you know, a better job can't be had at the cost of of being complicit when people are speak blaspheming God or when people are urging us to not tell the truth or to violate the other standards of God's word. Rather, it is found trusting the Lord, doing his work, serving him in the workplace his way, and trusting him to pro- provide and undertake and prosper and to use whatever meager gifts and graces we have for the furtherance of his own glory. This is what Daniel and his three friends end up doing. 